Today we are back with more of the mod that turns every tower into a blade maelstrom. I have showcased this in the past several times before, but I think there's still a lot of towers that I didn't actually try out, so we'll go ahead and check it out on this custom map. I just randomly found it in the map browser. I tried to look for a map that just had like a circle without going I infinite times so that it wouldn't be the easiest cakewalk of all time. And I guess this is the closest I could find to fit the Maelstrom's need, so just to uh, quickly see how this map loops around. It actually loops around a pretty good amount of times, like one and a half loops between circle before exiting. I would have thought it would only be one, but I guess that makes it all the more easier. Alright, let's drop some stuff down that we didn't see before. How about Quincy? I mean, the result should be as you expect. He shoots arrows in... A maelstrom formation. So if it hasn't been noted before, not every single tower inherits this maelstrom ability. Obviously stuff that doesn't have projectiles, like for example Ice Tower, there is no ability whatsoever. There's also some that do have projectiles, but for some reason don't work. Like for example the uh, Monkey Ace. I guess that has something to do with it being a flying tower and the pad not actually being the tower itself. But let me just show you the same applies with the Mortar, same applies with the Spike Factory, and same applies to the Heli Pilot. And the Beast Handler, just to get that out of the way first. And now let's see some more epic Maelstrom action. In fact, whoa. If I if I combo with Quincy's ability, well, obviously, the sprite also changes, which is uh, cool. How about uh, Submarines? I'm curious to see how uh, Seeking Projectiles will work with this mod. I'll do a Barb Darts for more Pierce. It kind of goes without saying that you want towers that have a very strong base projectile, so that... Like, cause like, the Maelstrom shoots the same number of projectiles every single time, so increasing attack speed will do nothing. But take a look at that. Barb darts, OP, with the Seeking. There is some merit to going Twin Guns, though, and that is to unlock Air Burst, cause I'm pretty sure every single dart now will Air Burst. Watch this. Sheesh. As you would expect, the Balloons don't stand a chance against this incredibly overpowered mod. And that is also why we have double HP mobs enabled, so that we actually have a bit more of a challenge for the uh, balloons, although still, double HP ain't gonna be much against that. Unfortunately, that's the best you can do with the map editor at the moment, just without being able to customize the percentages. Let me test the ballistic missile. I don't think it shoots at the ballistic, no. So, similar to, I guess, other mods that of this caliber, like the custom projectiles, it only applies to the... Uh, I guess the main projectile. Um, so with Quincy, I don't think there'll be any explosions. Just the just his arrows. That is all. I think I've seen enough of the ballistics, so let's switch it out for... Well, how about another water tower? Talking about the boat. Kind of curious about what that shoots out. Let's just try cannon shit for now. And uh, let her rip. Well, I didn't know it actually would shoot out multiple, like, projectiles. I guess they, those are all considered the main. Either way, pretty cool stuff. Let's watch it decimate through 47. Nice, nice, nice. What's next to test? How about a boomerang? You see, I also uh, got a Chinook, just so that I could showcase the towers more clearly. Uh, I should also get D camo, just because to help out the boomerang. Boomerang's pretty interesting, though. You want the glaives? Actually, maybe I want the plus one, but let's use it. That? Now that looks funky, because the glaives can't, you know, they're, they're unique because they come back, obviously. Now, I'm eager to try more glaives for, of course, the bouncing, but I kind of also want to see, uh, first, what Kylie does. Oh, now that, that looks even trippier. I don't think Molepress would end up doing the insane knockback thing, but wouldn't that be crazy? Let's try it out and see if it's possible. Yeah, Molepress is the exact same as Kylie, sadly. So, uh, nothing too much to see there. I would assume the same applies to the Mob Dom. Actually, I'm pretty sure a mob dome will be completely broken, because doesn't it explode as projectiles explode upon, like, expiring? Also, the submerged sub still somehow has the maelstrom ability of when submerged. I mean, I guess it makes sense. The virtual still exists in that sense. But I guess until getting the mob dome, let's try the uh, more relays instead for the fun factor. Let me try to wait for a more dense round, like 59, although the main more relays are, is already doing a lot, so... Okay, not really a good round to showcase that on maybe 63. Has more of a chance. Or maybe we can just, uh, break down this BFB real quick. Let's try. One ability? Nope. Mold damage is really bad there. Again, then. Nope. It only gets us down to uh, Moab's. So here we go. 63. That <laughs> didn't take long at all. Later on in the game, once the Energizer, like, does no damage relative to the, uh, 
balloon scaling, I will, uh, you know, get Energizer for the 20% cooldowns, as well as get the P Mentoring training for uh, any primaries. Even though the there is a Maelstrom icon, no, you do not get the 10%, 20% like uh, cooldown reduction on military magic monkeys that have this effect. Speaking of magic monkeys, let's try an Arcane Spike. The main bolt, I think, is pretty strong with it also seeking sense of pattern, guys. Anything that's seeking is uh, pretty darn good. You guys want to see the Arcane Spike ability again? Take a look at that beautiful, beautiful scenery. This is also a disclaimer in advance that I did a bit more testing offline, and some stuff like Paragons do not work, just as a heads up, in case you're wondering when am I going to get that. Never. I think after this round, though, it's time to try something new. Let's see if it actually makes it in 76. No, it does not. Nope. So let me redo one. I guess something that would be interesting to try out would be the Hydra Rocket. Rocket Storm, perhaps, with 042, so there's more pictures on them. I have to wait for the ability to come up, though, so hopefully it's fast enough. So for those who don't know, it basically acts the exact same as a Maelstrom, like the cooldown-wise, everything else. And one ability that did not, surprisingly, did not do enough damage. That makes sense, though, because the, uh, what do you call it, this thing only has, like, one damage. Somehow, it was enough, though. We take those, we take those, so it's unsurprising that the Mad would be incredibly broken. So I'm not gonna try that just yet. Let me, you know, let me actually get some uh, build order here. That slowly gets stronger. Uh, let's try tier five for the first time. Crossbow Master sounds interesting for no reason other than that. I don't know. The main projectile is decently good. Although when I mean decently good, visually it's kind of out of one because the projectile is so small. We're, we're not really seeing much flashy, flashy stuff. Okay then. I think recursive cluster. Sounds really flashy. Oh, right, I should give it a hit because it doesn't pop zebras anymore. Just in case it's a rear farm. But yeah, you want to see lots of explosions? Here you go. Here you go, everybody. And even with the walls on the track, too, being the, uh, the trees, you can see them explode before they hit the edge of the map. Thus creating, again, another visually stunning ability. And again, it's also really strong. Let's wait for the watermelon ZMG in here. See how much damage recursive Maelstrom can do. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I have no more words for that. That wasn't even the full Maelstrom ability, as you saw. There's still some, still some leftover for round 81. Holy moly, though, that was beautiful. So, essentially, this ability can wipe out, I guess, any round once it gets near enough to uh, the recursive. So let's wait again for 82 here and use the ability to one-shot the round. Everything except for that one balloon. That was on the left side. That is just dis disgusting. Now, could you imagine the Bomb Blitz? That gets extra damage. And you know what? Since we're already here, sure, let's get Bomb Blitz. And let's also, I would say it's a good idea to uh, freeze the water. So that we have it on the first loop rather than the second. You also get Shinook onto Frozen Land, so sorry, I'm going to have to remove you. And get a new one, and then here it is. Yup. Primary training also affects the potency of those uh, bombs, so we're getting that too, as well as the 10% cooldown reduction. How long can we last with Sky? Well, I'm gonna experiment with that, considering we found, uh, at least so far, this is the strongest one I've found. So, you want to see me do it again? And again. And again. Keep in mind, this is double HP Moabs. And one more time. JK, one more time here. Last time for real, I promise. 98. Please ignore the lost lives. Okay, one last try for round 100, just to see if we can one-shot the bat, possibly. Nah, I did about 20,000 damage. Pretty good, though, all things considered. One more time. I think we'll need three abilities to kill this. And three it is. Actually, I lied. Four abilities. All right. Now it's time to try what I was wanting to try. The mob domination. Two is your five for the stronger. Now, who's ready to see explosions everywhere? I sure am. Um, actually, not quite, not quite. I apologize, everybody, for I am a stupid. The the explosion attack is on the press, not not the main the main projectile. Let's shift our attention toward, I guess, Quincy again. Level 20 Quincy. How strong is he? Well, without any buffs, it's pretty weak. I got a uh, mob elim now. I'm curious to see how good this thing is. I feel like it should be good. Considering, uh... I mean, it did do 200k in one ability. That's not bad. 
But yeah, each Molt Missile does 100 damage. So it it should add up. However, I guess it's it's still outscaled by the double HP. Bomb Blitz being better than it. Time for the big boys to shine, I guess. So uh, I guess the, the only correct stepping stone to go after uh, the Elim would be the MAD. It does over five times more damage than well, the Mobile Limb. So it should wipe the floor, right? Well, to everything against Rems, obviously. So uh, I guess that's where I'll try to use Quincy to save me. Come on. This mad ability is not up yet. I guess seeing this, it's probably a good idea to go for a tower that will compliment me in, like, dealing with the ceramics. I did say earlier that ice towers don't work, per se, but if you upgrade to, say, bottom path tier 3, take a look at that, there's now an ability. So that sounds like a decent combo, right? You use the mad ability here to destroy the mob layer, and then you icicle to freeze all the cerams. Holy heck, that lag. We could also do Impale as well, and why don't we? For extra mob damage, too. Yeah, as if the ability to freeze uh, Glimpse wasn't good enough. It, it, it does a lot of damage, too. Like, 200k in that one ability there. It must be my eyes deceiving me, but why does it feel like the mad ability isn't much stronger than the Impale? Like, let me use Impale here, and I'll do, like, 200k damage in one ability. Well, close to. And then I'll use the Maelstrom Mad, and that also does 200k. Look, isn't that interesting? I'm assuming I might have to do the pierce. I'm pretty sure the ice pierce is more than the uh, uh, mad, but would that really make up like the damage difference? It's 50, remember, compared to like 500 plus. You know, judging from the very start of the game, I thought this mob was going to be insanely mega broken. But I guess it was insanely mega broken in the early game, but now that we reach like even early free play here, they're not quite wiping the floor as I as I expected. So I guess with that said, it's time to move on to bigger and better things, right? Also, before that, I will just go over some other upgrades I tested that don't have a Maelstrom. For example, Passive Accelerator loses it. Same with the Ray of Doom. Kind of obvious, but Sniper also doesn't. Unless you get by Shrapnel, in which case, it actually Maelstroms out the Shrapnel. If you look carefully, well, not here, but watch here. Yeah, that that is, um, that's a very, very strong... Maelstrom mod, alright? With the Sniper. And I'm kind of surprised that the Expertise itself is not one that gets a Maelstrom. Unlucky. Alright, I guess I didn't try Druids yet, so let's swap out the Mad, because I guess the Ice is already doing enough for me. I'm pretty sure Avatar Wrath is pretty useless, considering that what's good about it is the massive amount of projectiles. But because the Maelstrom has the same amount, yeah, doesn't, like, proc good lightning either. Next. Spirit of the Force, I doubt it does anything, but let's just try. Yeah, nothing much really. We use the main uh, Maelstrom ability, and damage doesn't really go up. Actually, hold up. Let me just slow down here. Are you guys noticing something? Something? I'm not using the ability. But the uh, Spirit of the Force has a permanent ring. Can we actually double up on that with a Maelstrom? Let me just see if I can see that. Yeah, I do. I think I do see double the amount of projectiles. It is pretty weak, obviously, because the uh, thing only does a little bit of damage. But still, that's interesting, and I guess a cherry on top to make up for how weak it is. Alright, let's just find explosion then. Next. Let's just start off with ball lightning. Uh, hold up, hold up. What is going on? That is satisfying to look at. And tell me why I thought it would be similar to other towers and just, like, use a thorn attack. But no, it also maelstroms out the uh, ball lightning. Holy crap. Even the tier 4 doesn't see damage. Probably because, like... Every ball lightning has a maelstrom. So could you imagine what Superstorm would do? Well, let's uh, get that in a bitty. For now, watch the insane shade lightning proc. Now that is nutty. Forget the bomb blitz. This, I think, is the most OP, considering, you know, usually how bad the ball lightning is. Now this is just next level. Like, you know things are really broken when the game lags heavily upon using it. Again, one more time. Is it time we try Superstorm? Well, I guess I could do... I could just sell the Impale. So that I can fully showcase this thing. Because this thing also knocks back Balloon, so... It already does the Impale's job. Who's ready? Let's actually wait for a 119 to start to showcase it. Actually, this is probably not a good idea, because you can't blow back a bad. But I guess we'll see how much damage it does. In 3, 2, and 1. Let us see what the Superstorm has. 
covers the entire map in tornadoes and ball lightning. Obviously, didn't do a lot of damage because it's not meant for bad damage. But even then, no, no, it's actually, it only took two abilities. One ability, actually, no, one. Right, again, the lightning. The more bads are on screen, the more damage it actually ends up doing. And then one more ability here to end it all off. Sheesh. Ladies and gents, I think we have officially beaten Balloons TD6. Where else do we go from here? Other than, I guess, making the uh, Super Stream stronger? Sure, we could do that. Interesting enough, I bought the Super Brittle, and uh, there is now a Maelstrom ability. What does it do? It does the Ice Shard. I wonder if that, that shard actually increases, like, the damage of the Balloons. I guess one way to try that would be Dart Monkey, and then Ability. Um, am I seeing uh, any spikes of more than three? Uh, let me just try again here. No. Wait, what's going on? Wait, <laughs> hang on. I moved the, uh, the, the Super Riddle. Why does it have no range this time? Weird. It can't just be the, uh, um, primary mentoring difference, right? Like, watch again. Look how much extra range the, uh, mentoring gives us, if, that, if that's the case. No, I don't believe it. I'm losing a lot of money doing this, but it's for science, yeah. Isn't, that's a strange interaction. That is besides the point, though. It does not look like the uh, shards will increase the damage, so... That's a forge. I would have loved the global range through brittle. It actually takes quite a while to beat these rounds with the Super Storm, because we keep blowing it back, so everything ends up leaving the circle after one ability. I actually still think Bomb Blitz, like, steals the show in terms of doing, like, nutty damage. So I got that back, so we can just use that ability instead. To speed up the rounds a little bit. If I'm also remembering this correctly, then... Giving overclock buffs to the tower that you're gonna maelstrom and homeland will increase the amount of uh, well damage. So let's do it. I even add home buff, so uh, you guys can see the craziness. Can we beat the F pad with one bombless ability? Not quite, but I'd say it's close. How about with an added super storm on top? That'll give like a good 20, 30k. Unfortunately, still just a tad bit shy of that. All right. One more Bomb Blitz ability then, if we can get through the lag, to finish this off. So in conclusion, Bomb Blitz, most OP in this mod, and Superstorm, most visually stunning. At least those are my picks. And now one final test, if we can keep up the lag that is. We have 10x Ultra Boost and most if not all buffs already on the bomb. Fine, since I'm already here, one last Peebrew buff, but that is all. Now we will, we shall see uh, the Bomb Blitz at peak buff. Peak Maelstrom, and it died. I'm gonna blame that on us not using the, uh, the Super Storm ability. Let's skip to like, I don't know, a random round like 169. Or rather, I guess 170. Yeah, that's more like it. Much more like it. We use the uh, Super Storm while that's on cooldown. And then... Uh, use Bomb Blitz between them to do some good damage. If I'm noticing one thing, it is uh, definitely that the uh, Superstorm is really, really strong because uh, because the projectile moves so slowly, the cooldown is already, like, off over halfway by the time it disappears, so there's, like, pretty much no time for the balloons to exit the map. This is indeed the goaded uh, Maelstrom duo. The, like, the game's laying so much that I'm not even, like, gonna use Homeland. Because I guess we're probably going to beat anyways, seeing how disgusting this is. So, that does it. Thank you all for watching. If you guys missed when I covered this mod initially several years ago, then uh, click here and here to watch those. And see you all next time.